What is going on guys? Tyler Smith from TopSoundDesign.com here. So today we're going to look at the LA-2A and the different versions they have from the Universal Audio plugins. So we're in Pro Tools right here. We have our Analytics plugin up here, as you can see right here. So we're going to start out with the LA-2, which is the vintage model of the LA-2A, or the first generation. So we have our signal generator here. We're going to pop that guy on at 500 hertz. And we have this analytics sub here turned down a little bit so it doesn't so it doesn't get too loud on us. Okay, now we're going to pop in this LA2, the vintage model. We're going to crank the gain on that a little bit. And we're going to see some harmonics come out here. All right, let's push it a little bit harder. Let's go ahead and turn that down. Okay, so you can see we have a 500 hertz signal here from this uh, stock signal generator from Pro Tools right there. Okay, so if we go back into this plug-in here, we have it cranked all the way, and it's not very loud because we have the analytics uh, aux in turned down. But as you can see, we have the 500 hertz signal, we have a thousand hertz, so we have a 500 hertz difference here in the first harmonic, and we also have a 500 hertz uh, second harmonic here. And what's interesting, compared to the 1176, we have a thousand hertz difference in the third harmonic, which we don't see in the 1176. So this is an LA-2A um, characteristic. And obviously if you have an instrument, there's gonna be a lot more frequencies we're working with, but in a basic sense, you can see how it's modeled. So we have 500, 1000, 1500, 500 intervals, and then we also have a thousand, for the third and then we have another thousand for the fourth so there's not a lot of high-end harmonics going on here um, it's pretty subtle in that terms as you can recall in the 1176 video there's a lot of high-end harmonics going on when you really push it so we don't see a lot of that and this is pushed as far as we can go so now that we know that let's go ahead and turn that off for a second all right and let's select the LA-2A gray as our next one. Okay, we're gonna start it again. Let's pull this guy up. Okay, now let's put the peak reduction up all the way so we're really pushing it. We're gonna push it hard there. All right, so here is a big difference in higher harmonics. We have a lot more color coming in with this one. So we have 500 and we have 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. So we have 500 hertz differences here, all the way up to 20,000 hertz. So we have a lot of harmonic frequencies going on here. So this one's gonna add a lot more color with any instrument you put on. So now that we know the huge difference between those, let's go ahead and stop that. Okay, we have the LA-2A Legacy next. So let's go ahead and route that. Legacy. Okay. Whoop. And start our signal again. Alright, let's bring this guy up. And let's start pushing it. We're going to put the peak reduction all the way up so we're crunching it. And put the input up. All the way. Okay. So now we have a very different um, set of harmonics here. So we have 500 all the way up to 1500. So we have a thousand hertz difference on that. And we have a thousand hertz difference on the second harmonic. And we have a little bit of a third harmonic coming in there at a thousand hertz once again. But this is very, very light color. So you're not going to get a whole lot of analog sound out of this one, um, which is good in some cases and some not so good in some other cases, whatever you're looking for. So that's very interesting on why the Legacy has not a lot of harmonic structure. Um, <clears throat> I guess to throw back to the original um, first generation of the LA-2, that one also doesn't have a lot of harmonics. Um, but this new reissue um, based gray one has a lot of harmonics. So. 
Okay, let's go ahead and turn that off and let's route to the silver and see what that guy's all about. And this is one that you see often in the studios. Let's go ahead and enable that and enable our signal. Okay. Looks like we already have some harmonics coming in there, so let's go ahead and crank it. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have a lot of content going on here. We see a difference in amplitude between some of these higher harmonics. So we have 500,000, 1500, 500 hertz intervals. And what's interesting is on this two, three, four, fifth harmonic, we have low amplitude. And past that, we have higher amplitude slightly going up to the, from the sixth to the eighth harmonic looks to be um, an increase in amplitude, which is interesting. Then it kind of dies down again. And that's kind of the pattern here. All the way up to 20,000 looks like. So we have a lot of color coming in with this. So the structure here looks like the throwback um, original ones have a very little harmonic content and these reissue ones have a lot of harmonic content going on. Um, kind of like the 1176 as we tested earlier. So that is really interesting. If we go back and compare, uh, let's do the LA2 one more time. Let's go ahead and activate that. It's already crunched. Yeah, so we got 500, we got a first, second, third, and fourth. And this second to third one is offset by 500 hertz, which is very interesting. So you're gonna get a little bit different of a tone from that um, spread out with an instrument and all of its frequencies. So that's really cool. Then if you go back to this gray, which we'll route really quick. Now you can see up there we have the original and now we have the reissue, which is full of harmonic content. So that is very cool. And this one again is 500 intervals. Go ahead and stop that for a second. Now let's go to the legacy real quick again. Okay, and bring it up. Start our signal again. And make sure it's crunched all the way. And we only have a first, second, and third. It's a little different than the 1176s uh, we tested earlier. But I hope this helps in understanding what these plugins are doing. Um, very interesting stuff. I actually, this is the first time I've looked at it. So I'm learning along with you guys. So uh, more to come in the next one. And hopefully we'll get some Waves plugins analyzed in the near future. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.